sad morning to you. If things in your life are not good right now, good. Things always get worse before they get better. Like any renovation or spring cleaning you've ever witnessed, dust gets stirred up, things get pulled out, stuff gets thrown away, gets sorted. Space is made. Be thankful for the space, even though it looks empty, even though it sounds empty. He'll make it full again. It already is, but your eyes can't see. So close them and trust the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, the light and the darkness that you can't see, but you can hear. Trust God, not your feelings. Tell yourself inside, my feelings are not God. God is God. My feelings do not predict my future. My feelings do not define truth. God's word, the sound, and the silence, his name, what you can hear because you are full of him, defines truth. My feelings are echoes and responses to what my mind perceives. And sometimes, many times, my feelings are out of sync with the truth. When that happens, and it happens every day in some measure, I try not to bend the truth to justify my imperfect feelings. But rather, I plead with God, purify my perceptions with your truth and transform my feelings so that they are in sync with the truth. That's John Piper. In sync with this love. Every feeling is just a distortion of this love. I can feel you getting back in sync with now. Rumi said, I want that love that moved the mountains, that split the ocean. I want that love that made the winds tremble. I want that love that roared like thunder. I want that love that will raise the dead. That love that is the silence of eternity. You think you're choosing this love. But this love chose you. In John it says, I appointed you to go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. And just because you don't have evidence of that fruit yet. Just because you can't see the fruit. Or even the flowers yet. It doesn't mean that it isn't happening. The eyes can't see it but you can feel it. Feel your heart opening. Feel your heart blooming now. Hear the sound the flower makes when it blooms. How does a blooming flower sound? Yes, like this. Be one with this sound. Keep hearing the sound today. As you're watching that body push through these days before the holiday, as you watch it on its usual emotional roller coaster while knowing simultaneously this moment, this anger, this frustration, this short temper couldn't be any other way. You might be aware of frustration, but you're not. You're watching from love, you're hearing from silence, letting God know that you're not seeking to be relevant or liked. You're seeking to be undeniable. You seek to be compassionate. You seek integrity, you seek humility, you seek light. That's worship love. You seek him. That's all you want. That's all you need. That's all you have already. And it's enough. It's more than enough. Bear witness. I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, and leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift and follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.